Welcome to the bite size review of the prop shield. This is a tiny little shield designed for the TNC 3.2 or the TNC LC. It is basically it's a motion sensing board with a whole bunch of other features on it and it looks a little something like this. Dimensions wise it is 48.5 millimeters by 17.5 millimeters. It's designed to slide to connect on to one of these two boards. Uh, this one here being the TNC 3.2, this one here being the TNC LC. You can see that it's a little bit bigger than both. It sticks out in both directions when it sits on there. So you can see, if I put that there, you can see it sticks out both at the front and at the back, just a little bit. Um, not the end of the world though, um, as I'm sure you'll agree. Now the amount of stuff that they managed to squeeze onto this is very, very PJRC. Everything they do is absolutely tiny and covered in functionality. And this little shield is no different. So. Here, at this end here, you can see we have got plus minus five volt and ground here. This plus and minus here is actually the uh, amp audio amplifier output, so you can actually drive a speaker direct, and it will pick up from the uh, actual digital to analog output from either the TNC LC or the TNC 3.2, so you could play audio out from there, for example, and this little board has got a built-in amplifier to spit it out into a little speaker. Um, over at this end, you can see here we've got two little level shifters that allows us to drive APA 102 or dot star LEDs, particularly useful. They're very, very high speed, far, far, far faster in refresh rate than um, NeoPixels or WS 2812B LEDs. They're useful for POV applications where you get those sort of spinning sticks with LEDs on it, which make images, that sort of thing. This, uh, this little bad boy will enable that. So you just uh, connect your little strip of LEDs on there and you should be good to go. Now we've got a number of other chips here, the biggest one of which is an eight megabyte flash ROM there. There's a little software library to write stuff to it, which takes quite some time by the way, and read stuff off it, which is very, very fast. So you just need to bear in mind that writing to it is nowhere near as fast as reading from it. And there are three other chips that you can see on here. Uh, you can see here we have got the gyroscope. That's this great big one here. And then over here, we've got the accelerometer and magnetometer. And then if we slide our little way over to here, that little one there is the altimeter and temperature chip. So we've got all of that built on. It's 10 degrees of freedom on this board. So there is plenty of information to go around. And this little chip over here, you can see, is the audio amplifier. So that is the uh, TNC prop shield. What you can see on the other side here, is some uh, little pin out information so you can see how many pins it actually needs um, so you've still got loads left over even if you're using all the functionality of the prop shield you've still got tons of spare pins to use for other stuff as well so um, yeah great little board there's also going to be an LC version of this which does not feature this chip this chip or this chip so these are the expensive chips so the the low cost version of this simply features eight megabytes of flash the APA 102 driver chips here and the audio amplifier, but it will be a significantly cheaper, of course. So great little board. Uh, please consider making your next purchase if you want to buy one of these uh, from paintech.co.uk. Thank you.